Welcome to another vlog. I woke up really early this morning, so I was able to do some meditation by the fireplace. I made myself a cup of tea. It was really, really nice. And then I went to Pilates and I slept on my neck wrong, not last night, but the night before. And actually she made it feel better, but <laughs> it was so stiff when I got there. Like I couldn't really look up or like to the sides. And she just, you know, kind of stretched me out. She rolled me, you know, with like a foam roller. So I do feel better. Anyway, hello. How are you guys? I am getting ready for, you know, just a regular old day at home. And I have some very, very exciting news to share with you. The first, our Christmas tree has been taken down. It has been disassembled. The ornaments have been put away and it's down. So we finally did it, we finally did it. The holdup really was that I needed to order an ornament box to put all the ornaments in. Um, my husband like almost every weekend was like, okay, I'm gonna take the tree down. And I'm like, I didn't get an ornament box yet. He's like, order that ornament box. <laughs> so I finally ordered one off of Amazon. We put all the ornaments away. We took the tree down, which was super simple. I got that, I have one of those Balsam Hill like flip up trees. Oh my God, so easy, so, so easy. So that was great. We just rolled it into the closet that I have underneath the stairs um, in our entryway. And yeah, so the tree is down. <laughs> Thank you guys again for all of your comments on like still having your tree up, that it's okay. You've turned your tree into a holiday tree. You just changed the ornaments around, which I think is like the best idea because now that room is so sad. <laughs> So depressing and dark. That corner is really, really dark. I'm like, oh, maybe we should have left the tree up and made it a holiday tree. Anyway, we've taken it down and thank you for your comments. The other thing I wanted to show you guys, so exciting. We built out my husband's office and the last thing we wanted to do, let me turn on the light, was put doors onto his office. So it was a typical office, so it was just wide open. I don't know why they do that. <laughs> I would think offices would want doors. Anyway, so we got a double door put on right here and it looks just like our um, door to the gym. We had to model it after that because the opening, as you can see, is like uh, wider than like a typical door. So we thought, why don't we just put doors in there instead of like building it out to fit a regular size door. You guys know what I'm saying. Anyway, um, so we just have to get it painted again because I actually pulled out the wrong paint. The color is right, but the finish is wrong. It's like super, super flat. So it's almost like a primer. And it's, yeah, it's just like getting dirty. Like you just breathe or look at it wrong and it's, uh, it gets like a little mark. So we're gonna change that. And then this was the closest hardware that they could find. The color is fine, the style is very similar, but it is different from what we have. So this is like a flat rectangle shape of the handle. This is what our handles look like, which is round. So far it's not really bugging me, but if it does, I figure I can try and find one that matches or I can switch it out with um, a handle on a door that is maybe a little bit more hidden, like one in a closet in a guest room or something, like where one where I'm not gonna see it all the time and it won't bug me. So we're excited about the door. My husband's very excited about the door because um, it was it was rough. It was tough for him to like take calls and stuff and you know, butters would be barking or whatever. So this is welcome, a very welcome improvement in the house. So I am going to shower, kind of get ready for the day. I have another really exciting thing to show you. And then I wanted to give you like a quick closet tour. This is something that I promised you guys during Mishmas and I just, I just couldn't get around to it. So um, I, you know, I was like, well, I, you know, I still want to clean it up and I'm not sure if this is where I want everything, but whatever. It's, I feel like always going to be a work in progress. So I just want to show it to you guys. Um, and there's a reason why I went down the path of like cleaning out my closet the other day, which I'll talk about. So anyway, let me shower and I'll be right back. Hello, freshly showered. I wanted to share with you <laughs> another really fun thing. So this came in the mail from Current Body uh, like sometime last week, and it is their new LED eye perfector. Check this guy out. I'm so excited. So this is their latest LED uh, product, and you guys know how much I love Current Body's LED 
products. I use their mask, the neck and deck, I have the lip perfector. So now they've come out with this. And this is, I want to say like, like a similar device to the lip perfector where it's uh, for a short period of time and it's for a very targeted area. And uh, this stand, by the way, is a rechargeable stand. So it takes a USB charger, so you can plug it right in there and then sit the mask right in here. Or you can plug the mask directly into it. There is a USB charger right on the mask and here's the power button. So this is obviously just for the eye area and the cycle is only for three minutes. So the full mask and the neck and deck, that's 10 minutes. And when I put that on, I usually do it for two cycles. I'll do it for 20 minutes in total. Um, and so that's a little bit of a commitment. Like I've told you in the past, when I put those on, what I like to do is like fold my laundry or put laundry away or do laundry or iron or steam, you know, something like that where, you know, I'm just in my robe. I have the battery packs, you know, in my robe pockets and I'm just kind of like walking around up here. Um, and so that works out fine for me, but I can't do that like every day. So I use the mask and the neck and deck, I wanna say twice a week at this point, maybe more like once a week at this point, um, cause I've been really busy, but ideally like twice a week. And then this and the lip perfector are like perfect for those days in between where I just don't have a lot of time. Um, it's a three minute cycle, like I said, you can do it again, six minutes. That's still not even that big of a commitment. So it comes with this uh, Velcro strap that you just attach on here. There's little grippy uh, like nubs here that I have on the inside so that it grips whatever it is that it's up against your hair towel or your hair. And then the, the inside of the mask here is this, um, it's like a gel almost. I don't know if you can see it. I think maybe you can see it here. It's like a thick gel, so it's very comfortable. And this mask is slightly flexible. I wouldn't say it's like a rubber band, but it's slightly flexible so that it can like mold to your face. So what I do is I just throw it right over and I've done this without my hair towel too. I'll just put it over my, um, over my hair. And then I hit the power button and voila, there is my superhero mask. So as you guys know, I love LED technology. I really feel like it makes such a huge difference in my skin and its plumpness um, and its appearance. What LED lights do, in very simple terms is it stimulates collagen production in your skin. So it really does a good job, like kind of keeping your skin plump, elastic, taut, all the good things, all the things that we love. So I was so, so excited when Curtain Body sent this over. I was like, oh my God, I just love how they have all of these very like specific tools for specific areas. I keep mentioning the Lip Perfector, but I don't know if you guys have seen it, but this is the Lip Perfector. It kind of looks like a pacifier. Same thing, you turn it on, and it just works obviously like the skin around your lips, which also ages very, very quickly. So I like using these two together. I'm not gonna use this one today because I can't talk with it in, um, but that is the Lip Perfector. And just to mention, this mask also does come with these little goggles. Now, this red LED light does not bother your eyes. I mean, in terms of like damaging them, it doesn't bother your eyes. But sometimes people just think the, the light is irritating, so it does come with goggles. It fits right into the mask perfectly. So it does come with these uh, goggles if you want. Um, I think I'm just so used to LED light now that I don't, I don't bother uh, with the goggles. But anyway, a big thank you to Current Body for sending this over, for working with me on this video. And as usual, I have a coupon code which I will flash up on the screen right now. I'll put the details down below in the description box for you, uh, but definitely check it out. And there, it just went off. So, really, really handy dandy. Um, the other LED device that they have that I have not tried yet, I don't know, have any of you guys tried it? <laughs> if you've been on their site, you've seen it. But it's actually like a hand, one. So they look like gloves and it's LED light actually for your hands. I'm like, do I need that? I think I may need that. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to put this back onto the tray here and there it can sit. So that is their new LED eye perfector. I'm in love. I've been using it nonstop all week because like I said, it's just so easy. It's easy to throw on. So I am going to get ready for the day, but I did want to chat a little bit before I did my closet tour because the impetus behind this closet tour is because I just, I got like ants in my pants to clean it up. 
And I thought, well, if I don't do the tour now, it's just gonna get messy and whatever. So I'm like, let me let me give them the closet tour now. Now, since I just kind of like got rid of some like extra clothing that I haven't worn in a while, and you know, stuff like that. And I think I got in this nesting mode because I've just been traveling a lot lately. I used to travel a lot before the pandemic and the lockdown, uh, like at least once a month. It was either for work or work and pleasure and so mixed together like I was traveling like I said at least once a month so I don't think I'm necessarily traveling a lot for me but uh, because I haven't traveled none of us have traveled a lot over the past you know two or three years um, I'm like I'm not used to it like I'm, I'm kind of ramping up and I'm not really used to it so anyway I felt like I needed to just like nest a little bit because my husband and I have a really big trip coming up I'm so excited. I mean, not just coming up, but like in two days, we are going to Paris. I'm so excited. Neither of us have ever been. Um, we have wanted to go. We were thinking about going over the holidays, like over Christmas and New Year's, but it just, it just didn't work out between Mishmas and then we wanted to do Palm Springs in New Year's. So we we're like, okay, do we just go for Christmas? Anyway, it didn't work out. And then January ended up being really busy for me. So we were like, let's just go now. Let's just go this week in like mid February, uh, which is kind of a strange time because a lot of things are closed. A lot of things aren't happening in Paris because it's, you know, winter time. Um, but we were like, we have to just take the opportunity and go like when we can we can't just wait for the perfect time and i like winter time i you know the idea of like walking around this city or whatever when it's like really hot in the summertime doesn't sound fun to me so i'm excited that we're going now and i'm just i'm hoping for like gray but no rain kind of days and just and just walking around and i think ever since moving here from new york city that's probably the one thing I miss the most is just, you know, packing a bag for the day, opening my front door and just going out for the whole day. And can't really do that here in Vegas. It's not really that kind of place. Um, but that's what I'm really looking forward to in Paris. It's just kind of like wandering and exploring. You know, I'm gonna do some shopping, but that is so not a priority of mine. Uh, when we go over there, I wanna hit all the museums. I wanna hit, of course, the Eiffel Tower. I wanna hit every cafe I possibly can, enjoy some coffee and some French pastries and all of that, and just do really touristy, <laughs> touristy stuff. So I'm excited. I'm really, really excited. But anyway, I think because the trip was coming up, I still had some, uh, some things packed away from my staycation when I went to the M Resort and I was like, oh my God, I need to like reset, like do a full reset, like put everything away, clean out my closet, do all the things, do all the laundry, I'm still doing laundry. I've done like five loads um, and just like kind of start from scratch before I start packing for Paris. So that was the impetus behind like cleaning out my closet. And then, like I said, let's just do the closet tour while everything is relatively neat and put away. So I'm just gonna finish up my skincare, dry my hair, and then we'll take a look at my closet. Okay, before I start the tour, I just wanna back up in case uh, this is one of your first videos with me, welcome. If it is, um, the reason why I'm giving you a closet tour is because last year I've completely lost track of time August, September, October, I'm not sure. Um, my husband and I built out our uh, primary bedrooms closet and we used California closets and I showed everyone the process. And it took a little while because some parts weren't in and they started the project before those parts were in. So anyway, it finally was done. I gave everyone a quick tour, but this was before I actually moved my stuff in. So now we're doing the tour on how I actually use all of the space and it's definitely a work in progress. I don't know if it's gonna stay this way, um, but so far I think it's working out pretty well. I do have one, maybe two, well, one very minor regret, two very minor regrets. Anyway, we'll talk about them when we go in. So our closet is off of our bathroom and when you first walk in, there's like a big wall uh, with some windows, that's actually a corner, but this big wall, there are four windows up there. And I actually decided to hang up some little artwork that I had from Thornton Art. I will link it down below, but they did a collaboration with Lydia Elise Millen, which is a YouTuber that I follow here. And when she mentioned it and showed these pieces, I was like, oh, I really like those. So I got them uh, a while ago and I didn't know what to do with them. 
until we moved <laughs> until we moved into this house. And I thought, oh great, there's three little pieces, there's four windows, so I can just kind of space them out kind of underneath each of them. So this is my husband's side. So we have uh, eight drawers and a cabinet. And then we have uh, this sitting area where we can sit down and like actually put our shoes on. We put a drawer underneath. And then this is my side. You can tell who's the messy one and who's the neat one. Um, and actually behind the door here is where I keep a little ladder to get to the higher bits. So that's where I keep the ladder. Uh, I'm not gonna show you what's inside my, my husband's drawers, um, but here um, I have all of my socks and things and like tights and all of that. My husband likes to roll up the socks like this. I like to fold them like this. I'm not gonna complain because when you see this, it's because he did the laundry and that's fine. So I have a lot of black socks. I tried to separate them by workout black socks and like wear with shoes black socks, but they've gotten completely mixed up. And then here are my non-black socks. So that is that drawer. The drawer next to it is my underwear drawer. My bras are empty because I am doing laundry. I mentioned that and I am cleaning my bras. And I am washing my bras. Um, and then I have some sports bras, my underwear. It is definitely kind of a mess, but it works for me. <laughs> and then some like Spanx things um, and some swimsuits here and here. And then this drawer, I've got workout clothing. So I have all of my tights here. I have all of my shorts here. And then these are all of my shirts. And because these drawers are so deep, um, it's like you have to have, actually I'll show you in the other drawer, you have to have like enough, enough product to reach the back of the drawer, otherwise everything kind of falls down when you fold it like this, the Marie Kondo style, like this filing system kind of way. So um, let me show you actually this t-shirt drawer, which is really ugly. So I have this like little space here, and so I've been meaning to refold these t-shirts up so that I would have three across instead of two in this space. Um, but then I have space in the back and then they don't like stand up. So anyway, I have to play around with this. Maybe I'll just fold them regularly and have them like laying down. I'm not really sure, but these are my t-shirts. And then this drawer is jeans and like random pants. And yeah, it was like, I had some extra space there. This was kind of like a difficult drawer to figure out and I don't like it at all, but it is what it is. So those are pants. This drawer, I just have some sweatshirts in here. I have some like hoodies. I have a bunch of my sweatshirts in here. And then the two drawers all the way down at the bottom, they have these dividers as well. So I put some of my merch and some scarves and some other winter things in here. And then this one is actually empty. And then this is kind of a junk cabinet. I'm embarrassed to show you, but I will. <laughs> I just have some traveling bags in there. I have a lot of like lint shavers, lint rollers, <laughs> a dust buster. Um, here's another lint shaver. That's for my mirror. It's like a little dusting thing. I have a bunch of like jewelry pouches. So this is kind of a work in progress. I need to figure out what exactly I want to put in there. Um, and then on top of my counter here, because I'm gonna eventually put my jewelry in the other room when I build that out, I just have it all <laughs> just in like little boxes, just totally random, but I'm gonna end up getting like a custom jewelry drawer for everything. And so I didn't even wanna bother getting a jewelry box or anything. Everything's kind of fine the way it is. Um, that is my Prada headband. I don't know if you guys remember that, the one with the gold crystals. The, look how cute these are. When I went to New York last time, my friend gave these to me. She saw them and bought them because I love fries. I love fries so much. And then I always keep a pair of scissors up here. These are my fabric scissors uh, in case I need to shorten some pants or cut tags off or whatever. So I have these. And then this is sand from the Sahara Desert when I went to Morocco. So I keep that up here. Um, and of course, I've got a tripod for when I do TikToks and film and all that kind of stuff. So that is the wall when you first walk in, just all of our drawers and some windows. So that's where we get all of our light. And then 
if I turn around, right next to the door is where I hang all of my, <laughs> my many robes, my robes like definitely growing in collection. So anyway, those are my robes. And then I have this full length mirror here. Hello. This full length mirror that I got from Amazon. I will link it down below if it's still available. And then here is basically the rest of our closet. So we have basically two sections with frosted glass doors. And so that's where I put all my shoes. And I don't really have much up top yet because I just really hate putting stuff up top because I have to put the uh, ladder up. So I've just basically organized all of my shoes down here. So you guys may recall me mentioning that I pretty much got rid of all of my shoes <laughs> before moving here. I saved uh, like the newer ones, but I had a lot of older shoes from New York, like Manolo's and Jimmy Choo's and Louboutin's that I got, you know, when I worked in corporate America. And I just, I never really wore them. So I donated all of them, all of like the high heels and the pumps and stuff. And I feel like I'm kind of starting my collection from scratch, which is kind of exciting. So here's the other cabinet. I've got two pairs of pumps up there. These are super, super old Jill Sander pumps. I love these so much. These are the incredibly painful Bottega ones. My Kate flats that I love. Some Prados, some Chanel flats. These I've had forever. And Butters actually chewed the backs of those. Um, but yeah, I've had these Chanel's forever. Sorry, these are so dirty. Um, some other flats and loafer styles. These are a pair of super old Burberry calf hair flats. So old. Um, and then, oh, my sneakers. My Nike and Liberty collaboration sneakers. I bought these when I was um, on jury duty in New York City, which is downtown. It's by Chinatown. And so during lunch, I would go up to Lake Tribeca and Soho and shop. And they had these. I can't even remember the store, but I think it was on Howard Street. And they had these. And I was like, oh, my God. So I had to get those. And then a few years later, they did this collaboration with Liberty. Oh my god, I love those sneakers so much. Are there any other call-outs? Oh, these are all these big goodies. These are Celine boots for when Phoebe Philo was the creative director. So these are super old. I love these. Love, love, love those. And then everything else I think you've seen me wear a gazillion times. And then next to that is all of my hanging. So down here in the first section, I have all of my shirts. And then this section is a little bit of a hodgepodge. So I have my pajamas. <laughs> and then I have this one sweater that I need to hang up. This is that JW Anderson scarf again. It's just, it's so heavy and it's so massive that I can't, it's like I can't fold it up. There's like too much fabric. <laughs> so I'm just hanging it. Um, and then I've got some skirts, my pants, my blazers and jackets. Oh, here's a good, Oh, here's a good call out. Look at this super old Chanel tweed that I have. It's mink trimmed and there's like gold bits in here. Isn't that so beautiful? And it has the camellia lining and it's chain weighted. Love that. And then I have a bunch of my dresses here and then back there are my coats. Of course, I've got my Dior camouflage coat that I love and my Dries coat that I love. <laughs> Can't wear that often. Um, this really classic Jill Sander black wool and cashmere coat. By the way, a denim coat. What other goodies do I have? Oh, this classic Prada. I love this coat. It's silk and it's hand painted. Isn't that gorgeous? I can't remember what collection this was from, but this is old. This is definitely, I don't know, I want to say close to 20 years old. Yeah, and some other, some other goodies back there. And then up top are basically all of my sweatshirts and some sweaters. I don't like to hang a lot of sweaters, but some can be hung, um, depending on the fabric. So I've got a lot of my black sweatshirts there, and then more of my neutral colored ones here. 
then down here at the end, I put more like novelty ones, ones where I bought, you know, if I was like at a concert or, you know, something like that or at a show or something. So those are the ones back there. I don't wear those as much as the plain ones that are up here. And then of course I have this pole, which helps me get all of the things down from up top. So I always have this out. And then we did opt to get some of these like pullouts. So this one is for belts and scarves. Um, and then I have a bunch of these so that you can hang some of your uh, clothing, like when you're getting ready or whatever. So I have two of those. And obviously we decided to get the lighting underneath the shelves. And then in here, I didn't even point out, we do have lighting on either side of the shelves. And the reason why we didn't actually get it on the shelves is because it makes it very difficult to move these if I wanted to rearrange the height. So they suggested just to get them along the sides. It would illuminate the space, you know, good enough. And so, yeah, we just decided to do that. So past all of my hanging, I've got some cabinets here. So up top, I don't have anything in here. <laughs> It's completely empty, but I decided to get a shelf in there and hanging in case, I don't know, I didn't know what kind of storage I would need. So I was like, let's just do both. So if I did want to use it for hanging, I would just take that shelf off. Um, and if I want to just stack some things in there, I can, you know, leave the hanging rod in there or take it out if I need to. And then this is kind of a mess. I just have like a bunch of like extra hangers in here. I have some things that I really don't want to get dusty. Um, so I have some things in like dust bags. I have a couple of Simone Rocha dresses in here. Look at this huge tool one. I love this. It's so like Miss Havisham. Uh, I've got my Bottega Veneta uh, one-piece romper. Um, my row dress. Uh, my Prada skirt is in here. I have this row leather dress. And then down here, more like random garment bags, extra hangers, and then my big piece of luggage is in there. And speaking of luggage, like below my clothing that's hanging, I have luggage kind of tucked away. So that's underneath my coats. That one, um, I think that's a medium check-in. And then I have my smaller remote, my um, carry-on bags there and there. So those are underneath my blouses and my pants. And then my husband has some storage here. It's basically just like mine, I think. I think that's empty. Um, all of those cabinets up top are empty. <laughs> um, and then he has just arranged his clothing. He doesn't have that much. So all of his suits, all of his dress shirts, more suits, they're all here. And of course we have the lighting underneath. And then next to that, we have some shelving, which is where I have all my sweaters folded. So I basically arrange them like the two, the top two shelves over there, those are all like really big oversized cardigans. And then the rest of these are either just regular sized uh, pullovers or regular sized cardigans. And then we have a drawer that is a charging drawer. So right now it's kind of empty because my husband's devices are all downstairs with him. Um, but I've got my droplet in here so I can keep that nice and charged up. Um, my husband has an Apple Watch, so that's what this is for. And then we have a pull-out hamper. I don't want to show you my dirty clothes, but um, there's like it comes with like two bags that come out. And then my husband keeps all of his shoes um, underneath his clothes. He's a, he's a pretty simple guy. He doesn't have that much. And then he has uh, one of these uh, tie racks. So it's like my belt scarf rack, but it's just a little bit different. It's configured for ties. So that is the overview of the closet. Um, the finish that we got is Grigio. It's like the gray laminate wood. And then the hardware, I don't remember. I don't remember what it's called, that like uh, gold hardware. So I'll put that down below in my description box if you guys are interested. Um, but just to talk about like the things that I really love and the things that, <laughs> the things that I probably would do differently if I were to do it again. So I do love having like just a ton of hanging 
I remember when we designed that, I was like, it seems like an awful lot of hanging. And I don't feel like I'm that much of a clothes horse. This makes me feel like, or makes me definitely look like a clothes horse. But I don't feel like I hoard that much clothing. I do kind of uh, get rid of stuff quickly. So I just like hanging up a lot of stuff versus uh, putting it into drawers. So if I have the option to hang it, I usually do. And I think that's probably why I have a lot of hanging stuff. Um, like all of those sweatshirts. Um, yeah, I just prefer hanging them. So that I really, really love. I also love the fact that we just have this like wall of drawers when you come in. Uh, that was another thing, you know, our um, designer at California Closet, she suggested at one point like building shelves. She's like, most people like a lot more shelves and stuff. And I'm like, I don't really like shelves. I think, you know, they're wide open. You have to keep them neat looking. And it's, I don't know, it's just kind of fussy. So I like hanging and I like drawers. Uh, which is why we only have that one shelf over the hamper and then these behind the doors for shoes, obviously. And that's easy to kind of keep arranged, well arranged and like looking decent. So I'm really happy that we just went with this like wall of drawers because it also gives us this counter top to fold clothes. You know, after we do laundry, we just pour it all on here and we like just fold everything and put it away. It just makes things really, really easy. So if you have the room, I definitely definitely suggest that. And one thing I'm not sure that I would do again, like it's not bad and I don't, I'm not like hating it, but that electrical drawer, I think, you know, my husband, he puts like his phone in there and everything at night to recharge. But like, usually you have that bedside. So it's taken a little bit for us to get used to, like I'll text him sometimes when he's in bed and I'm like, why aren't you answering? He's like, cause my phone is in the closet. So we're trying to figure that out still. Um, but I kind of envisioned it, of course, for all of my stuff, like my droplet, uh, for my LED mask, for all those things. Um, and so I think my husband's trying to figure out best how to use it. So like I said, it's not really like a bad thing. I just don't know that we needed to get it, but I do think it's handy now that we do have it. Um, the other thing I want to mention is I'm not sure that I would have put the hamper where it is because it's next to hanging stuff. And generally my husband has all of his stuff, you know, well spaced out. And so this is right up against this. And so every time I open the hamper, when I close it, I feel like I catch his shirt. Of course it didn't happen that time, um, but I feel like I catch his shirt. So I think I would have maybe put it elsewhere. Um, or put it next to maybe one of the drawers or something, like maybe change one of these cabinets, made that a hamper, made that one a hamper or something like that. So we would have like his and hers hampers. I don't know. Um, I don't know where I could have put it, but I don't like it next to like hanging stuff. It just feels a little fussy, uh, but that's really, really nitpicky. The other thing that I think I would have done differently is I think I would have put solid doors on here. And it's so funny because I hemmed and I hawed and I was like, well, I don't want just plain glass because I feel like that's a fingerprint and dust magnet. Um, and I was talking to a friend of mine who had just built out her closet and she opted, I think not, I can't remember what she did now. I think she opted not to put any doors on because she wanted to see uh, what was in there. And while I definitely appreciate that and I think that's why she, she said if she could do it again, she would get doors, but she would get glass doors. And so I thought about it and I was like, you know what, she's right. It is good to be able to kind of like see in and see what you have. Um, so that's why I got those glass doors, but I don't know. I don't really like it. I think it just makes the room unnecessarily like busy looking. And because maybe it's because what I have behind those doors, they're just my shoes. Like I know, I know where my shoes are. It's not like I have a ton. I guess if you have like a whole row of doors, then sure, you probably want to have some like fair glass on them so you know which one to go to. I just feel like those solid doors at the end, like they just look so much cleaner where this is like so busy. And I get that people want to, you know, like boutique style and show stuff off, but how often are people in your closet? Like the closet is only for me. So that's one of the reasons why I'm hemming and hawing about my finishing room where I'm gonna be keeping my handbags, my jewelry, um, and my perfume. At first, I was gonna have like a lot of open shelving, all that lighting, some doors with um, glass on them. But the more I think about it, the more I think I just want, you know, doored cabinets, but with solid doors, just so I can shove stuff back there. I don't have to see it. I'm gonna know what's behind there. It's not gonna be like a whole big mystery. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So that has been 
I don't want to, again, like, I don't want to say it's a regret because it's not like I don't like these. It's just, I think I would have opted for solid doors just because it would have looked a little cleaner. And when I did my tour, uh, you know, when it was finished before I had my clothing in, a lot of people commented that for the top railing up there, I should get those racks. I don't know if you guys have seen them, but there are these big racks that you can pull down and then all the cl clothing come down. And so you don't need to get like a ladder or whatever. You can just pull everything down. So I remember asking my California closets rep about that. And she said, yes, that's definitely an option, but there's like a very, very low weight limit. She was like, really depends on what you plan on hanging up there, but you really can't hang up more than like, maybe eight or 10 like blouses. And so she suggested not to do that because I was like, oh, well, I mean, I'm gonna have coats, I'm gonna have sweatshirts, you know, all these other things, dresses or whatever. And she's like, all of those things are too heavy, especially like sweatshirts. There's no way I'd be able to hang up as many sweatshirts as I have up there if I had those things that pull down. So that's why I opted against that. I know many of you commented like, why didn't I just go with that? There's a weight limit. So if you are planning on <laughs> building out your closet, think about that and definitely ask about that. Maybe they've made them differently at this point, I don't know. But at the time I was designing this, um, that was definitely um, a consideration. Oh, and the other thing that I would have done differently is my husband's tie rack. So it's propped all the way up there. So, I mean, he can reach it, but I have a hard time reaching it. And so it's high enough for sure, but his ties are, they're too long. So they're dragging along the bottom here. So we have them like basically halved, but they still drag. So I think I would have had them mounted like way up here so that they didn't drag. But my husband was like, oh, but I'm gonna put my shoes down there so I don't want it there. But I don't think we realized that, I don't know, that his ties were gonna be so long um, because if they mounted this any higher, I don't think we could reach it. <laughs> So yeah, so that's definitely something um, I would have thought about a little bit more. I didn't like measure out his uh, ties or anything. So this bug, it doesn't bug him. <laughs> and he's like, well, they're curled under. So, you know, they just are flat when he takes them out. But I'm like, it bugs me. Like that would really bug me <laughs> if my ties were like tucked underneath like that. So I think, I think that's it. I think that's all. I had to mention, you know, it's just a closet, so <laughs> nothing uh, nothing too complicated, but I did want to pass along some thoughts that I've had now that we've lived with it for a while and that we've, you know, moved all of our clothing in and we've uh, kind of organized it, I think, the best we can. I just have to figure out these drawers because I hate, I hate opening up that t-shirt drawer where it doesn't, like, fit across properly. I have to refold that clothing. But that's it. That's it for the closet tour. While I have you guys in the closet, I may as well chat in here. So, uh, yeah, we're leaving for Paris in a couple of days. Um, I didn't even really give you the details. We're going to be there for just short of a week. Um, when we planned it, it was a week. But because of the travel time, I was like, oh, we're totally missing a day. So we're going to be there for just short of a week. We are... Um, staying at the Cheval Blanc, which is the brand new LVMH hotel, which is right near the Louvre. It's like such a great location. So I'm excited for that. That's gonna be really, really cool. Um, I've been emailing back and forth with them about you know, dinner reservations, lunch reservations, whatever, and they've been so helpful. So, so far, so good. You know, they're arranging a car and all that stuff. So uh, they've been extremely helpful. And, you know, in terms of packing, I was gonna do this like packing, pack with me video or whatever, but because I feel like I've done so many <laughs> pack with me videos lately between New York. I th did I do one for like Palm Springs and maybe like a quick one for um, my staycation? Whatever, anyway, I was like, I I'm pretty much gonna be bringing what I would bring to New York because the weather is about the same and I'm gonna be walking a lot. So uh, that's pretty much a New York trip. So nothing, you know, terribly fancy. I think one dinner we're going to God, what's it called? I already forget. It's a caviar spot. Caviar, Cas Caspia? Caspia caviar, something like that. Anyway, a friend of mine recommended it to me. So um, I just kind of passed the name along to the concierge at the hotel. I was like, can you get us a table here? And I, so I've already forgotten the name. Anyway, I think that's the only dinner that we have that requires like a nice outfit. Otherwise, I think I'm just gonna bring, you know, my, my regular old clothing, a bunch of jeans, um, and maybe some trousers or whatever, and just some comfortable tops. And that's it. That's it. But I think by the time you see this vlog, we'll be over there. 
Um, I will be vlogging while I'm there. Let's hope my camera doesn't get stolen <laughs> while I'm over there. And yeah, I will definitely be vlogging for you guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. A big thank you to Current Body for sponsoring that portion of the video. Definitely check out my description box if you're interested in a discount code, if you're interested in the product, the LED Eye Perfector. I love that thing. It's so cool. And it definitely makes me look like a superhero. I love it. And I will see you guys really soon. Bye.